Hi Ross, how you doing? You're wondering about the simpler and where they can change the root note on a sample. I had a quick look at it. I don't think you can. Uh, there's no direct way of doing it, no direct control, but you can get around it using the transpose. So I'm just going to show you that. Um, so if I go into my instruments, pull out the simpler onto a MIDI track, and I'm going to use this transpose function here uh, to get around the problem. So if I find a sample to work with, so let's say I take a bass sample. So I'll just take A3 there. Now just listening to that, I don't think it is actually A3, but just for illustrative purposes. So I've got a A3 in the sampler. So if I go into my MIDI view, MIDI note view, and play C3. It's playing the A3 on the C3 note. And A3 is a higher pitch. We can look at that though and you can work out the difference between A3 and C3. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 semitones in the difference. So if I go in and set the root note to be 9 semitones lower. Here, go back into my clip. Play the C3 now. It's a bit deeper. And that sounds like it should do. So if I just draw in a note, make it a bit longer. Play it there. Check it versus our original. got the right pitch on the right note basically okay so that's nice if we know the note in the sample sometimes we don't of course so if I uh, take a different type of loop just create a new audio track there and if I get a, a sample where we don't know the note so say one of these simple one so I'm going to pull that over I'm going to stop the other fella of course okay so I've got a few different notes here so there's some nice little plugins you can use to help you here like auto-tune or Melodyne so I'm going to go and take Melodyne put it on the track so just play it in. Stop it and then Melodyne puts those notes on the scale for you. So if I play it again, just double click the clip in the background so you can see which note it's on. Say I want to isolate a particular note here, say this guy, this nice long note. So let's play out the clip again. I'm watching Melodyne here. So it's this note here corresponds to that note. So I can go across and see that it's a G. Okay, so I'm just going to close out a Melodyne again. Might actually just cut it off just to, or delete it even, just to save any messing. So I know that this note's a G, so I'm going to isolate it using my loop brace. This guy. Back onto my MIDI track. I'm just going to put on a new sampler because it already adjusted the semitones, etc. There, just to keep it simple. Go in here, pull in my simpler to the MIDI track. Pull my note on. So this is should be a G. Create a clip, and of course it's playing G on the C. So. 
I go up and find my G. Sounds too high pitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to change it seven semitones this time. So there you go. Minus seven. And go in and have a listen. So here's my G now. How does it sound? Let's stop it again. Go back in, play with the G. So as far as I'm concerned, they sound correct. I'll just turn up the volume on the simpler. Go into the clip. Right. So there you go. Just a couple of little tricks to uh, help you get the notes right in the simpler. All right. Talk to you later.